This is volcanic. This is not. This is lava. And this is not. This has never been heated. This has never seen any smelting process whatsoever. This is off of here. And see the porosity and everything because it's been smelted, it's been heated. This has never been heated. All this in here is biological. It was alive at one time, okay? So we have lava, which this is, super light. And we have life. This is biological. This has never seen a smelting process. In fact, they say that, you know, underneath the surface when we have magma trapped or whatever, it turns into intrusive basalt and we get those hexagonal patterns, though, you know, the basalt columnar, columnar, columnars, which I've shown before, whoa. But this in here, I'm gonna show you the difference because if, if I go straight over there around that corner, that's where I ran into the basalt col columns. You know, the ones I showed before? On the same level as this that they're calling magma or, la or, or lava. And it would have been under pressure to, to cause those basalt columnars. And yet this was never under pressure. It never had all that strata on top of it as well and turned them into the columnars. Total, it's a theory that's total crap. A total crock of crap, okay? I'm gonna go over here and show you some more. Because this was never under pressure this was never been heated. This has never heated, seen any smelting process and never, neither has those basalt columnars I brought before on my channel. They've never seen heat. This has never been a liquid. Never, never. This has been a liquid, okay? This has never been a liquid. This is blood spray, in fact. This has so much iron in it. Here's some of the iron bleeding through. See that? See this? This is blood deoxygenated blood it's got so much iron in it, it's not even funny this is not magma this down here this has never been lava it has no porosity it has no crystallization it has nothing that has the indicators for intrusive basalt okay and something else i'm gonna get into in a minute i'm gonna show you what they call volcanic intrusions which they are not volcanic intrusions how, how would they ever form in this if it was lava and have volcanic intrusions too? Both of them had to be formed at the same time. Because if one of them was sticking up through it, the other one would have busted it and fractured it coming up through it. And if the other one would have been there already, they would have been tied up against it like they are. See this in here? This is not lava. This is lava. They look similar, but geology does not understand the difference okay because there is such a similarity okay but this 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 is this has been smelted this has never been through a hot liquid process whatsoever and all this on top this is blood spray this is tissue with blood on it that's what this is like muscle or something or just blood and i'm gonna fly this with a drone and you'll see what i'm talking about okay so how did lava form and then it capped itself like this and then stuff on top it, 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 it don't make any sense when you get down here and look at the theories and this is supposed to be 56 million years old but no crystallization the only porosity it has is from the water putting holes in it you understand what i'm saying when you get higher up you don't find that at all you don't find any of the crystallization that should be here from being below the earth's surface trapped I'm gonna fly this with a drone. Remember that, this, when you're looking at this through the drone, this is biological. This was never a geological volcanic event. And we have intrusions in here, what they call volcanic intrusions that they can't even explain. Because if this was volcanic and the intrusions were volcanic, how did they both form? And one looks totally different than the other, yet they're on the same level, they're, they would have been under the same pressure, all that, yet they totally form different. And like I've showed you before, these intrusions are identical. Identical, I, hundreds of them, identical pattern repeated over and over. I, bought the, I brought this piece of lava from a flow over in Eastern Oregon. 
in the Cascades, okay? To purposely bring down here today and show you that there's absolutely a difference between what they're calling volcanic, here, volcanic and, and the truth. This is from a Belknap flow. Okay, let me show you something and wait. Okay, now I want you to listen to something. This is a piece of this which I'm calling blood and was living at one time. It's not intrusive basalt. This is the same thing. This is lava. So why does that look so much different than this if it was lava sitting right here under 56 million years of 800 feet of strata? Impossibility. Now listen to this when I drop it. Now listen to this. I can't lift this with two fingers like I can't like I can that one. Listen to this one. Hear the difference? This is super light, porous, because it, it, it's been burned out. It's been, been through the smelting process. This has never been through a smelting process, okay? It's never seen heat whatsoever. But when you look inside of these, you get lots of iron. You would not get lots of iron in this. You get some. But what happens is all the minerals or all the elements burn off it when it gets to a molten stage. And that's why you don't see that here because this was never at a molten stage. You find no porosity, no crystallization. You don't have the silicates you should have for volcanism, okay? They're not here. But you find tons of rust in this blacker stuff on top. Okay, all this black you see, if you could just peel the top off it, you'd see it's pink and lots of rust. Lots of red and lots of rust, okay? And that's because of the blood, the iron in the blood. And this is feeding on the minerals in this blood. This is a volcanic intrusion. They call a volcanic intrusion here, which what it is is connective tissue. Remember, it's a volcanic intrusion. It's intruding in what they think is lava. So tell me, how did this form and harden, there's the breast of it over there, and harden this way Yet that look comes right and butted up against it and hardens that way. And it was intrusive, so it meant it had to have lots of weight on top according to them. And it would have fallen basalt columnars, which are down that direction. I'll show you another time. There's one coming off of there. I'm going to get the drone out here pretty soon and show you some of this stuff. And remember, when I get the drone out, you're looking at biology. Okay? Here's a... What they called here's a, um, we're going to look at this from the other side on the drone this is what they call a geological intrusion the rest of it's over there that they're thick this is how thick they are like a wall they go down into the earth who knows how far they go down they're not just laying on the top you understand so there's no way they could have been formed first standing here like a wall and then lo lava formed in around them or vice versa they were both formed at the exact same time because it's biological okay See how tight this fits up against it here? And how tight it is on this side? There's no way this stood here first and this formed, or this was here first and this came in later. Because this would have fractured the crap out of this. And it doesn't. It comes right up tight against it. It has that membrane on both sides that I show in all my videos. Hundreds of these things are identical. Same thing here. Membrane on the outside, both edges. This is a geoli, or a, they would call this an intrusion. Okay, a volcanic intrusion. One right there too, look at that puppy. That's going right underneath us, I believe. <clears throat> but look at that one. Got the membrane on both sides, on the outside edge, identical to the ones I've been showing you. If you go back and look at my videos on connective tissue, because that's what these are. This is connective tissue in this muscle. Okay? Another one here. Actually, I believe this is the other part of that one. It comes down and twists right here. See? Look how tight this stuff is up against it. And no disturbance. No disturbance whatsoever. Okay? Another one. Another one over here. This is connective tissue in this flesh or muscle that I'm showing you. Okay? See this one? Same thing. It comes down and twists. Goes down and comes up over there. But this is another one. Okay. Still got the membrane on the outside, like I've showed you before. On all of them, all of them are like this. They're all blocky in the center. But how did magma or intrusive basalt? This would have been intrusive too. This does this, but yet this does this. And the way it butts up against it? No. This is biology. This is biological. 
Okay, I'm gonna show you some more connective tissue and muscle. It's a piece right here. But our Earth, there's volcanism, yes, absolutely. But everything they're calling Vulcan, see, see how, see all the rust in this stuff? See this? This, <laughs> this is not lava or never was intrusive magma or basalt, whatever you want to call it. Intrusive, extrusive, you know, they got their names for it. Here's rust here to show you what I'm talking about. See underneath this, underneath all this black, got all this rust. Another piece of connective tissue here. See this? See how tight that is up against the side and how tight it is up against this side? They were both formed at the same time, okay? Another piece, it splits right here, this piece of connective tissue. See this? One piece goes right here, here's the split. Got, so you got um, biology, you got flesh here, flesh on the outside there, and flesh on the outside here. This is connective tissue. Okay. These are not volcanic intrusions. They're they're the same as you know, they've got this so wrong it's not even funny. But you here's that membrane on the outside edge I always talk about. That's always on every one of them, identical blocking in the middle. Okay. See here, remember this is all rusty underneath. <laughs> this stuff, they call this event 56 million years old, by the way. This is the celestial event. And that's not true. Okay. There's no way that. Those basalt columnars, which are over there, and this right here, which is all still lava or liquid form according to them, there's no way that that had pressure and formed the hexagonal patterns, but yet this didn't with all the strata up on top according to them. Okay? This has never been buried. This has never had weight on top of it like all the strata. This has never been heated. No heating process here, folks. None. Never been smelted. That's why it's so heavy. When I did the little drop test there, because this has never been heated. It looks like it has, but when you really look close, it's not. Okay, because if you just look at it, hey, it looks like lava. Ah, yeah, but it actually it don't. There's a difference between what I just showed you and what this is, okay? I don't know how much more simple I can make it. They're wrong. These things are called 56 million years old, 22 million years old. That's the stuff that was alive that's carcasses. Then you have volcanism on top mixed in with it, okay? Which is actually all that is, is smelted biology that's in a liquid form. It's still biological, but just been heated and... All right. My next video, I will bring those basalt colanders and show you the difference between here and there and how they could both be buried, yet one's got pre columnars and this don't impossible they're side by side I want to show some more connective tissue here's a piece here here's a piece here they split come together right there and this here's tissue of some kind of whether it's muscle or whatever here's another piece of connective tissue look how wide this they call them volcanic intrusions and this has nothing to do with volcanism here's another one how wide this one is this is connective tissue in muscle that's the muscle see and they think this is volcanic I just showed you it's not okay here's another piece of connective tissue here look at this one remember the membrane on the outside it's always on the outside of every single one of them bam there you go both sides of it look how thick it is on the outside of this one they call these volcanic intrusions coming up through what they think is lava and that's a crock of crap that's not true okay this is connective tissue they do not understand the supernatural they do not understand what man's mundane science cannot explain okay man man's science is so far behind god it's not even funny but yet they think oh we got it all figured out <laughs> yeah no you don't see the membrane on the outside edge here and they all have this membrane, whether it be small or big, real thick or real narrow. You understand? And they all have it. Identical, repeated, hundreds of them, over and over and over again. Here's another piece of connective tissue. Here's another one here that splits off and a little piece runs right there, okay?
it runs right out through there. Oh, this stuff's slick. This moss is either feeding on something that's in the, this biology. This lime green moss. See, this is connective tissue. And you'd think that was lava. If you didn't know what you're looking at. See, it goes, it comes into another piece of connective tissue running across it this way, a four way. See this? I think you're getting an idea. All right, I'm going to boogie on out of here.